So have you guys ever had one of those weeks where you're like planning to go on vacation or you're looking forward to something and you only have one week left and you're just hoping that week's going to go really quick and then it just takes forever and it's like one of the hardest weeks? Well, I'm having one of those weeks. Not only is my beard looking fierce, but I have one of the hardest weeks of work I've ever had. Before this video, I was yawning so much that my eyes were watering, so I just need a little pick-me-up and I have that in the form of your collections. So I told you guys that I was going to be reviewing your collections and I actually received quite a bit of them, a lot more than I expected to. And so I'm going to be doing a two-part series. Uh, this one's coming out this week, it's gonna have 14, and next week's gonna have a couple more than that. Uh, it's gonna both be on Saturday. So in this video, again, I'm gonna be reviewing your collections, letting you know what I think about them, which fragrances that I like, and maybe doing a little bit of roasting if there is something to roast. I haven't looked at them yet, but without further ado, let's get them. <laughs> What's up my great smelling dudes? Welcome back to my channel. This is Randy aka Fragrance Dude back with another fragrance video. Before we get into it, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Again, we have a special edition video where I asked you guys to send me your fragrance collections uh, and honestly I had a huge turnout. Uh, I had about 40 different collections sent to me, so I'm doing this in two parts. One is going to be today and one is next Saturday. I'm doing them in, in the order in which I received them, and I'm going to be doing about 15 to 20 in each one. I already tried doing this once. I got to one person's collections and I was at about eight minutes. So I'm gonna try to pick and choose which fragrances I choose on these. But without further ado, I'm gonna get straight into this so I'm not wasting any more of your time. I'm not going to be reading the emails because most of them were just praising me, saying how amazing of a dude I am and how much you like my content. So I appreciate the kind words and let's get right into it. First, I'm gonna put his whole collection up here. It is from T-Frag. You guys know him if you watch my channel. He's the one who sends me a lot of the different fragrances that I review on my channel. If I don't have them, a lot of niche, a lot of indie, stuff like that. So thank you to him. And then I'm gonna break it down to five different parts of uh, his collection. The first one here is going to be um, where he has, if you see down in the middle, he has that credit card looking thing by Philip Klein. I haven't tried it myself, but I'm really interested in trying it. To the left, you have a bunch of the uh, Boss Bottles and the Scent Private Accord, which is a great chocolatey fragrance. Absolutely amazing. Up top, you have your Parfum de Marly, uh, Pegasus, Layton, uh, Harad, and then I believe that is Layton Exclusive. I can be wrong, it's a little bit cloudy. And then all the way to the right, you have like Initio. You have two Initios. I believe one's Oud for Greatness and one's Side Effect, but I know one Side Effect. I'm not sure about the Oud for Greatness. The next one, we have right in the middle at the top, we have your Goldfield and Banks. You have Bohemian Line and Pacific Rock Moss. And then right next to those, you have 2-6 Elixir and one of my favorites of the year, Southern Peach Tea, both by Coastal Carolina Parfums. If you haven't tried them and you like peach fragrances, uh, that's a fantastic one. And then on the left, you got some of your heavy hitting Chanel's, the Edition Blanche, one of my favorites. And then you got a lot of crazy uh, de designers right below, Ralph Lauren, Ralph's Club, Versace Fresh. Then on the next one, we have uh, Jet Black, which I'm not a big fan of, by Michael Malol. We have your Gentleman Javon, a lot of the new releases out this year. Uh, Javon's Gentleman Reserve Privé, which I'm not a huge fan of because it smells like all of the other ones in the line, like Parfum and Boise. Then you have one of my favorite, if not my favorite release of the year, Most Wanted Parfum. And then Valentina Coral Fantasy, which is like a candy apple. Then we have some niche. We have a bunch of uh, Mancera's on the left. And then Juliet has a gun. I haven't tried any of them on the right. Tom Ford Ombre Leather, which I hate. And then behind that, we have a bunch of Montel's, which I have not tried either. Mon uh, Mancera's I've tried, but I can't see the names on there, so I don't know which ones exactly he has. And then we have a few other designers like Stronger With You and Vicar and Rolf Spice Bomb, as well as a few clones there as well. But thank you so much, T-Frag. I really appreciate it. Uh, so again, we have one of the things that he had there. This is going to be in a few of the other um, collections as well. My favorite release of the year, Most Wanted Parfum, Ginger Bourbon Vanilla. It is a great fall and winter time. It is uh, nice and gourmand, yet it's a great date night fragrance and it lasts a long time as well. The next person is another one you guys know that sends me a bunch of stuff. He is moving all of his stuff around in his house, so he just gave me a little taste and he's going to give the whole collection next 
week or next time that I do one of these, and it is uh, Hamzat. So this is his collection here, and as you can tell, there is a few nice designers here. You got your Rasasi Hawass, which is one of the best fruity aquatic fragrances out there with plum in it. You got your Coral Fantasy, your Zara Wanted, Sidrat Boise, which I absolutely love. Um, and then you have behind that, I believe it is Missoni Wave. And then you have Mercedes Benz Club Black. And then on the left hand side in the back, you have Insurrection 2 Wild, which is a pure Havon clone, which is absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much. Uh, I do have Insurrection 2 Wild, which is an amazing pure Havon clone. It's honey, it's tobacco, it's really nice. It's only like 15 bucks. But then the third one here is going to be a, a lot of people have asked him for this, a close up. And so this is SoCal Sense, AKA Jeff Victor. Uh, he gave me a close up of half of his collection. The other half's in another room, but I will pull that up here. You guys can see the full collections right there, but I can't fit it uh, on a screen this way. So I'm gonna show you the bottom half first. And so that is, the bottom half where you see there's a bunch of cute little minis at the bottom from the Tommy Bahama line. Some Halloween Man, which I don't really like the Halloween Man line except for Shot, which is good. Uh, then you have on the right, you have the Loam Eau de Parfum, which is a boozy ginger or a boozy orange version of the original. You have your Polo Blue Parfum, which is really nice. And then other than that, uh, we'll go up to the top which has one of my favorite fall and wintertime fragrances. It looks like a whiskey glass at the top. That is uh, Angel Share by Killian. It is a fantastic, almost like a boozy, uh, warm drink, which is fantastic. You have your Creed Aventus, and then right next to the Creed Aventus Cologne, I mean, which is actually better than the original in my opinion. To the left of that, you have um, Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim, which is a great, and I mean great summertime fragrance. And then all the way to the left, in the middle, you have Jeremy Fragrances, Unisex, and Office, which are great as well. And then below them, you have, this is the only video, only collection that has this, Lacoste Blanc Fresh, which I'm surprised it's the only collection that has it. Then next to that, you have Artisan Pure, or Artisan Teal, which was a new release this year as well. So thank you so much, Jeff, for showing me that. If you guys want to pause it and see any other ones that he has there. But this is Lacoste Blanc Fresh. Uh, or Eau Fraiche, one of my favorites of the year. It's a ginger, woody, citrus fragrance. Absolutely amazing. I'm surprised more people haven't picked it up. If you haven't, then you definitely need to try it out because it is a fantastic release. So the next person who sent me it is a bit of a tongue twister. It's Auntie Hyena, and he sent me one picture. He laid it out perfectly on his bed. If you want to visualize your collection the best, lay it on the bed, put it next to other things in its line, and take it out of the box. That's the best way to do it. And so again, it's anti-hyena, and I'll put it up here. Top left, you have Prada Ocean. It's great for the heat. You have Prada Black, great for date nights. You have Polo Blue Gold Blend, which is my favorite in the line. It's the Polo Blue line mixed with a typical blue fragrance. You have Aqua de Show Absolute, Profumo, all of them. Absolute is my favorite because it's an amber woody take on the DNA, just dialing down that DNA a lot. Then you have the ones that I'm going to mention in every collection. Most Wanted, which is a gourmand that can be worn all year round. Then you have Wanted by Night, which is a nice date night spicy fragrance for the fall and winter. You can toss the Dracar Noir because it's terrible. And then below that, I'm super jealous because you have LND Al Blue Electrique. I didn't get myself a second bottle before uh, it discontinued, so I don't want to pay the discontinued price. It is a modernized take on the original if you add in a blue shower jelliness to it as well. So thank you very much, Ante Hyena. I really appreciate it and a nice way to send your picture. It is a very versatile fragrance, a very versatile collection, and I hope it keeps growing, and I hope that next year you guys, you can send me another one and that it's grown. So the next one on my list is going to be the second biggest but it looks like it's gonna be the biggest uh, collection of different niche, except for maybe T-Frag. And this is from Chris, so thank you, Chris. The first one is going to be all of his collection of the Mugler A Men line. He has um, Pure Havan, Ultra Zest, Pure Malt, Pure Tonka, Pure Wood. One of my favorites lines out there. I didn't get as many as him before they all discontinued, except for one or two of them. And I do have Pure Havon and I do have Ultra Zest. Outside of that, I didn't get my hands on anything. I'm still trying to get Pure Malt though. But that is amazing. The next one, as you can tell, he has a lot of Tom Fords. I'm not a huge Tom Ford fan. 
I do like Lost Cherry. I do like Effin' Fabulous. And Ebony Fume is a nice ambery Tom Ford. Um, outside of that, he has some Zergeoffs, 1861 Naxos. In the back on the left, if you can see, it has a camel. Uh, that is Zoologist Camel. It is a nice... Uh, sweet ambery fragrance woody fragrance as well if you've never tried it get a decant really nice again that's camel by zoologist um, and then there's a couple other ones there but it looks like i already went through them and he also has blue electric as well that's great uh the next one is, he has a few discontinued here and if i can see it right all the way to the right near the wall that's gucci envy but it's backwards and I'm super jealous. If you can ever find that, it is really, really, really expensive. I'm pretty sure that's Gucci Envy. Um, let me know if I'm wrong about that, but I am super jealous of that because if you can get a bottle of it, you could sell it for like 400 bucks and it smells amazing. Then in front of that at the front, you have Dark Rebel by Jean Varvatis, which is one of the few Jean Varvatis I like. Uh, then you have another discontinued Boss Bottled Intense, which is one of the best fall and wintertime fragrances. Then you have Cologne, Godolphin, a lot of the Parfums de Marlies I don't like, but you do have Ojean, Leighton Exclusive, and Leighton, which I do like a lot. So on to the next one. This is like his Island of Misfit Toys. He, he put all of his designers, it looks like he's not a huge fan of over here. Although I do have to say, I like how that Boss Bottled is just about empty. I love my Boss Bottled. And then you have your Lone Ideal Colognes on the right hand side. And then you can toss the machine a toy boy because outside of being a conversation starter, I absolutely hate that fragrance. But then there's one more. He has a bunch of Mancera's. Instant Crush is Mancera's take on kind of like a Baccarat Rouge 540 type fragrance. But it's I actually like it better than Baccarat Rouge 540. And then up on the wall to the right, you have Enigma, which is Enigma in Europe. And it's Creation E here. Not a huge fan of it by Roche and Dove. I do like Vetiver and all of those, but Enigma is not one of my favorites. So thank you very much, Chris, for sending me all of that. I really do appreciate it. You have an amazing collection. Uh, if I missed anything in there that was super huge, I know you have a lot of discontinues and I'm super jealous about it. I have a few of them, but Gucci Envy is huge. So then now we have Angel. He sent me one picture. Again, put it on his bed, so thank you so much. Uh, so we have here another discontinued fragrance. Uh, bottom, uh, middle, all the way to the left, next to One Million Lucky, you have One Million Privé, which is like a warm apple cider. It's one of the best uh, designer fragrances for fall and winter that have ever been released. I don't know why they discontinued it. I mean, I guess sales were just bad. Right below that, you have Zergeoff Naxos, which is a really nice fragrance. It's a honey tobacco, kind of inspired the pure Havans of the world. Spice Bomb Extreme. Um, the only, let's see, you have a lot of dark fragrances. I would start to work on my collection. And I even if you do like dark fragrances, deep fragrances, sweet fragrances, more than freshies, you should add a couple more freshies to your collection. And then in the middle, you have your uh, limited edition from Dolce & Gabbana. It's the One Luminous Night, which is a nice amber date fragrance. And then Low Medial Extreme down on the bottom right is a nice plum almond tobacco fragrance so yeah if i had any updates for you angel is just to try to get some freshies into your collection because it looks like you already have the sweet side covered so thank you so much angel i really appreciate it the next one is going to be natty and nati he sent me four different fragrance uh collection pictures I'm going to try to pick and choose because it's hard to see many of these. He has them in his drawers. So the first one, as you can see, you got the Spice Bombs. You have your Most Wanted. You have your Wanted by Night and your Prada Black, all of his date night fragrances. And it looks like there's a Mercedes-Benz Club Black or something club laying down there. I can't really tell. It's kind of hilarious. Uh, the next one is you have Prada Amber, Poor Ohm on the left, hiding in there. Um, it looks I thought that was... Rosacea Wasp, but it's actually Chavanchi Gentleman only, I believe. That's kind of purple, but I think that might be the light. Uh, and then you have a couple Pradas in there, and then you can also toss away that Dracar Noir. And I think closest to us in the middle is uh, Prada Amber Intense, which is even a better version of Prada Amber. If you could get one, I would get Prada Amber Intense. Really, really good. And then the next one, I'm jealous of this picture because Aqua Amara in the middle is my favorite from the Aqua line. 
It's discontinued now, and if anybody knows anything about Aqua Amara, if you liked it, then try Mancera's Aqua Wood. It's not discontinued, it's still a good price, and it smells very similar to Aqua Amara. It's like a citrus, ambery, aquatic fragrance, and it's really good. So then we have this one last picture. He sent me the boxes of his niche. He has Percival, uh, Leighton, Pegasus, and Greenlee, which is really good. Some Tom Fords. And then on the right, you have Zerjoff 1861 Naxos as well. So thank you very much, Natty. I really appreciate it. Really nice collection. You got all of your bases covered there. Um, you might just want to invest on getting a nice shelf or something instead of having them all pushed in your drawers. Um, but I'll, whatever works for you, I mean, it's still going to be in the dark. It's still going to be cool. So the next one on my list is Thomas, who sent me one picture. And let's see who, where his is. There it is. And so we have the CD NIMs on the top, which I absolutely despise. I do like Siage, which is next to that, though. On the top right, second one over, you have Dior Ohm Intense, which is my favorite Dior Ohm. Uh, you have YSL Wiley Parfum. Right below that, you also have Prada Loam Intense, which is my favorite Prada Loam. It has that iris. It has that uh, nice little leather note in it. It is really good. You have the Prada Amber Intense to the left as well. Really good, like I said in the last one. Let's see. Uh, most Wanted Parfum, obviously, bottom left. Fantastic. So, yeah. You got all your bases covered with this one as well. It's a really nice collection, really versatile. You have some good ones. And you. I also saw Off Non 9 p.m. If you guys don't know, Off Non 9 p.m. is a clone of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Mall, which does it almost perfectly. If you want to try that out, it's really good. Uh, the next one on my list is going to be Joshua. And Joshua sent me his... It looks like inside of like one of those bathroom cupboards. Um, and if you actually look at the second picture when I show it to you, it looks like the one shelf is breaking. So you might want to invest in a better shelf there, Josh. So the first uh, picture, as you can tell, you have a Lower Ohm Edition Blanche next to the original Lower Ohm Sport. Uh, Edition Blanche is like a lemon cream pie. Fantastic, stronger with you. Very good fragrance. And then we'll go to, we have light blue Owen Tense, which is also really good. My favorite summertime fragrance. Then on the second level, we got always test before you buy. So good job, Josh. You got some testers down there. Really nice. And then you have your blue de Chanel, your low medial cologne, which is a nice almond fresh fragrance. And then you got your Dior and your Louis Vuitton Lemon City which is a fantastic fragrance. It's like an ambery citrus, really, really good fragrance for the spring and summer. You can even wear it into the fall as well. I love Lemensity. Louis Vuitton is an underrated brand, probably because it's really hard to get and they only sell at Louis Vuitton. But uh, yeah, you might wanna in invest on a uh, new shelf because it looks like yours is about to break. But yeah, really nice. I really appreciate it, Josh, for sending me that. So we have three collections left for this week. And so now it's going in. If you ever want to sell your empty box on eBay, I bet you that this is the guy that buys it. And it is Daniel, and he also has a bottle of Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. All jokes aside, he was put in the boxes here. But next time, Daniel, if you want to get them so it's easier to see, the bottles are always the easier ones to see than the boxes. I'm guessing he keeps the bottles inside the boxes, though. With that said, um, he has some Cremos that are really catching my eye. If you guys don't know, Cremos are a fantastic brand that you can buy at Walmart um, that are like $13 or $14. They have ones that smell like Spice Bomb Extreme, uh, really good ones that like the Reserve Collection. Uh, if you ever want to try it, it's really good. He also has CK Shock in here, which is a really nice cheapie from the CK house, which I don't really like CKs, but I do really like that one. Starwalker Extreme. He also has uh, some of those uh, private line of Banana Republics, which I got a bunch for $16 the other day. I got Vintage Green. I got, uh, if you can see on this page, there is Tobacco and Tonka Bean. And then he also has Starwalker Extreme, the new Starwalker, which is like, Almost like a coach for men, really good. He has the YSLYs, the Invictus uh, Victory, which is a really nice fragrance as well. So yeah, really nice. Again, it's really hard to see and I don't know, it's hard to pick out the boxes, but 
Thank you very much, Daniel. I really appreciate it. I see that you do have a lot of boxes and colognes there. So I do want to put point these out. He had two of these. Uh, one is Banana Republics. I did this on a, doing this on a video next week, a fragrance haul, Banana Republic 78 Vintage Green. It is a really, really nice fragrance for the spring, summer, and fall. And then you have this, which is even better. It's tobacco and tonka bean. These, this collection I never even heard of until I saw it at Burlington. Really good. They also have one that's dark cherry and amber. I can't wait to pick up and try that either. So with that said, um, thank you so much, Daniel. The next one is one picture from Ivan. So thank you so much, Ivan. I'll pull that up here. Um, this is one that I actually wanted to say the opposite of what I said to Angel. Ivan, if I have any tips for you, you have enough warm weather fragrances now. You need to focus on cool weather, sweet fragrances, uh, dark fragrances that can be worn during the winter. The only one that it seems like you have is the um, Versace Eros Flame at the bottom. There are some that could be obviously worn during the winter, but just in, just in case you wanted to have a tip. Uh, you got your Pradas, Prada Lone, Prada Amber. Uh, you got your Versace's at the top, which are always compliment pulling. You have your Millicene Imperial a clone, which is Milestone, which is absolutely fantastic compared to Milestone. And then at the bottom, I had to cut this off, but he has two Dior Homme Originals, which is fantastic. And then a Dior Homme Sport 2021, it looks like. But thank you very much, Ivan. Again, if you want any tips, just do that just get a few so you have them for the cooler weather because sometimes freshies just don't smell as good in the winter but i know you have your diors and stuff so maybe that's just what what you like uh the last one here is juan so juan is not only a collector he's also a uh perfumer he doesn't uh, he does he makes his own perfumes at home um, I'm actually testing some out right now, which I actually am really interested in. So Juan sent me his collection. And so they're kind of blurry, but whenever I fir first pulled up this collection, if you look at the bottom, the Mercedes-Benz colognes, the Club Black and the other one, I thought it was one giant cologne. I even texted him and said, what is that? That's the giant, most giant cologne I've ever had. But then I realized that they were sideways. So anyway, he has a lot of different uh, Pradas in there. He has your... Um, Prada Loam, Prada Loam Intense. It's hard to see. Tommy Now Them at the bottom left is a really nice fragrance from Tommy. Uh, he has your office and date. Really, really good. And then we'll get on to the next page, which he has a bunch of niche. He has almost all of the Parfums de Marley's that I like at the top. He has Ojan, he has Leighton, um, Harad, Godolphin. Uh, and then he has down there, the Rojas. I said I like the Roja Vetiver, which is really nice. It's the green one. And then the blue one, Roja Elysium. One of the best fragrances in that Aventus style fragrance, which is amazing, even though it doesn't smell like Aventus. Then you have your Initios in the middle, Oud for Greatness. You have Side Effect. Really, really nice collection. And I really appreciate you, Juan, for sharing this with me. Um, if you guys want to see his whole collection, I will put it up there just to see the size of it. Um, but it was easier to put it up on the screen so that you guys could see. So, again, those were the ones for this week. The ones next week, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, but uh, probably 20 minutes or so. I'm going to talk to you guys on my live and see if you guys want me to make three and just do the next one shorter because I felt like I was going really quick through this. But yeah, thank you guys so much for sending me your collections. We'll be have uh, next week, it will be another 15 or 20, uh, unless you guys change my mind on that. But thank you guys so much for sending everything in. Love your collections, love being able to discuss it, look at everything, not just my own all the time. So thank you guys so much. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll just comment below and let me know what you thought about this. But thank you guys so much, and I'll be back with another one. Peace out.